Hello guys, welcome to my channel. So in today's video, I'm gonna do a makeup tutorial using the Kylie Jenner Royal Peach Palette. I know I just did one, but I really, really wanted to do like the traditional um, eyeshadow look that she had on the front of this packaging, which was like the blue and the lower lash line, and then a gold lid. So I hope you guys like this video. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I love you guys, and let's go ahead and jump into the video. By the way, I'm not bald. I do have hair back her. Okay. The first color that I'm going to take is this one right here. The same as the last video that I did. If you do want to see like a full review on the palette, I'll leave the link down below. But this is what I used for the transition shade last time. And it's pretty much the only one you can use to start off uh, the crease color. So I'll just be doing it again. I'm just going to take it from outer corner to inner corner. It's a really light shade, so it's really easy to apply. Just whack it on. Next, I'm going to be taking this medium brown shade right here and then this one up here. And I'm just going to use a smaller blending brush to apply this and keep this um, more in the socket here so we can add some definition. So just taking it in a little tiny circular windshield wiper motions, you know how it is. Then just going in with that warm tone in my crease. The next shade that I'm going to take is this bronze shade down here and this one is going all over the lid just with a flat shader brush oh my god that is not pigmented at all I'll try using a brush that isn't synthetic to see if that applies better no nope. I think Kylie's tried to make this eyeshadow like a glittery eyeshadow but it's honestly just really dry and patchy and it's not sticking I put heaps of fix plus on and it's just taking forever. Next, I'm just going to take a black eyeshadow with a little eyeliner brush. This one is from Makeup Geek and it is called Corrupt. So I'm just going to line my upper lash line and smoke it out a little bit. That's what it looked like Kylie had on in the photo where she was promoting this. But there's no black in here, so I'm going to have to use a different one. Okay, so let's move on to the face. So I'm going to take the Rimmel Stay Matte Primer and I'm just going to put this in my T-zone. I want the middle of my face to be nice and ah, nice and matte. And then I'm going to add a like um, really iridescent one on the outer part of my face. I hate if there's a glow around this area right here because that's where the sweat naturally comes out. So let's keep that... Away. Now to add a bit of a glow on the outside of my face, I'm going to take the MAC Strobe Cream. This one is a sample. It's like a peachy color. So I'm just going to put a little bit on my cheekbones. And I'll just lightly dab this into my face. So for the foundation today, I'm taking this Neutrogena Healthy Skin Liquid Makeup in the shade 85 Honey. This one is very tan, so I guess we're just going to work with it like we do in every other video. When I went to LA to get... Oh, lots of makeup that's really liquidy oh my god um I got really dark shades because my tan was really dark I had like 20 coats of fake tan on so I have to work with what I've got I really want to see if this one's good so I'm just gonna blend this in with a beauty blender oh the coverage is really nice it's definitely very wet oh my god you can still see the max strobe cream through there that's what I'm talking about I actually really like the color of this foundation. It's like a nice yellowy neutral tone. This foundation is making my skin look so healthy and just like skin, like it doesn't look cakey at all. For the concealer today, I'm taking the Smashbox Studio Skin 24 Hour in the shade Light Medium. So I'm just gonna use this to cancel out the discoloration. Oh, I think she's running low. And then I'm also going to take the lighter shade and put this on top to use this as a bit of a highlight. So I'm just going to blend this in with my Beauty Blender. And of course, I'm just going to bake with my Laura Mercier Translucent Powder. I do this all the time. To set my face, I'm going to take the Makeup Forever Duo Matte Foundation Powder. Powder foundation. It feels dry, so I feel like it's going to set the foundation. So I'm just going to pat this all over my face. <gasps> it's blotchy. 
Oh no. I try and change up the products that I use and then this happens. Now it's time for the lower lash line. So I'm going to take this royal blue right here and I'm just going to line that from outer corner to inner corner. Hopefully this isn't overly powdery and doesn't go everywhere. I'm just going to pack it down so it's really intense. And then with a different brush, I'm just going to go in with this color and put it a little bit under the blue. Now just going in with some mascara, um, I'm going to coat my bottom lashes a lot just so the blue doesn't look as like weird, if you know what I mean. I'm going to go in with some black eyeliner on my waterline. This one is the Stila Smudge Stick Waterproof Eyeliner in the shade Stingray. I absolutely hate applying eyeliner. Ugh. And of course, I'm just going to go in with some false lashes. Oh, there's a bit of fluff in there. Don't want that. Thank you. I can already tell that this is going to make everything look so much better. Now to add some color to my face, I'm taking this Rimmel London Highlight Contour and Blush little palette right here. Oh, girl. And I'm just going to pick up the middle shade very lightly and carve out my cheekbones. A little bit goes a very long way with this product, so don't be too generous. Next, I'm going to take the Milani Baked Bronzer. I have the shade Golden. This one is a little bit shimmery, so it's going to add a nice glow to the face. So let's start blending this in. Whoa. And of course, I'm just going to bake a little bit right underneath my bronzer. So she's nice and sharp. I'm going to take the blush and highlight out of the same palette. So for the blush, I'm just going to put it on the apples on my cheeks and blend it back. I don't want to add too much though, just because that blue on the eye is like really dominating the makeup look. So I want the rest of the face to be nice and neutral. As per usual, I'm going to go in with the highlight. Oh yes. Thank you. I love blending away this bake. It's so satisfying because it just looks so clean. For the lips today, I'm taking the Kylie Lip Liner in Exposed. I never use her products, so I thought if I'm doing the eyeshadow look, I may as well just use all of her products. So I'm just gonna, oh, it just broke. The lip liner's broken. <gasps> of course, going in with the matching liquid lipstick, Exposed. Oh, yeah. Just with a little bit of the Kylie gloss in the shade So Cute, I'm just going to put this on the center of my lips so they appear a little bit bigger. You know why. And lastly, I'm just going to take the Tatcha Luminous Dewy Mist. I've used this like a million times, but I can never see a really big difference. So I'm just going to do this side and see if you can tell. Okay, so this is the side that I sprayed. This is the side that I didn't. Oh yeah, I guess it does add a glow. Okay. Okay, so here we have the finished look. I really hope you guys liked it. Overall, I don't know. I, as I said in my last video, not a massive fan. Some colors work really well. Some colors don't work the best. I can never put my chokers like really tight because they have long nails. Woo! So annoying. Anyways, if you did like this video, please give it a big thumbs up. I know it is quite similar to my last one with the peach transition, but honestly, this doesn't offer too many transition shades at all. So I kind of just had to work with what I had. I love you guys so much. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, and I will see you in my next video.